So let's give that a try. So let's uh, make another make another file function dudt wave and the t of u still we have dudt. So uh, this u may not be a good. Uh, let's do phi and psi. Ddt of ddt of phi and psi. Okay, I'll just uh, write as ddt. So um, n is equal to length of phi psi over two. So because phi and psi is going to contain a variable that is discretized that is so here i use the u and k but this is uh wait yeah so so it contains the discretized the phi and psi for all the spatial grid points okay uh and uh, the phi is going to be equal to phi psi from one to n and psi is equal to phi psi from n plus 1 to n. So this is basically splitting the input variable into the two different variables. Does it make sense? So let's use central difference. And uh, actually, let me just uh, copy what we did in this case. Except for here with du dx. And in this case, we need the phi dx. Oh, we also want to say dx is equal to 2 pi over n. Uh, and uh, let's do a find and replace u with phi. Replace uh, all editor current file. Uh, Looking okay, ha. Huh. Okay, uh, here I actually saved it as a dudt. So just to make it better, I will just do, I'll just uh, rename it as ddt because we are not using u here. Okay, uh, ddt, not central. Yeah, ddt central. I opened the wrong file. Yes, I opened the wrong file. So this is still DUDT central. Uh, I wanted DDT wave. All right. How do you do a replacement only in the selection? Anyway, so if I figure that out, I will just uh, do a manual replacement. That's it, right? So we have defy dx and decide dx. Both figured out. And now our d phi dt is equal to d psi dx. d psi dt is equal to d phi dx. Right? That's our derivation of the wave equation. Uh, right? Okay, and the DDT is going to be, first I'm going to put, so in the beginning I have psi uh, phi in the beginning, so d phi dt and the d psi dt, so that's my output of the function. Alright, so let's start with a phi uh, being the same as my u0 maybe oh my u0 was a was a bad one right so let me say u0 is equal to let's let's set my phi0 to be that and the psi0 to be uh, phi0 multiplied by by 0 so let's so this corresponds to a wave that that is initially flat because du dx is initially equal to zero, so the whole thing is flat, the whole solution is zero, but with the initial velocity, with the initial du dt, right? That is like this wave. 
okay so let's do a t and uh, uh, v and psi equal to od45 of ddt wave zero so how long do we want to integrate it still just uh, let's let's do pi just to see what do we get and we put phi first and psi second oh zero great okay now we solved it uh, this is our solution we are only interested in the very last part so let's just plot it uh, to see x and uh, v psi and and one to a hundred right so that's our fee oh I didn't close the previous one hmm that doesn't look good <laughs> I must have made an error somewhere so okay so let's plot phi zero what is phi zero psi zero is zero okay let me see ddt wave to n and plus one to the end Hmm. So if I do this from 101 to 200, what is it giving us? difference but when you parse the phi to psi from the initial values uh, you're referring to a vector index and I think you're providing a, a matrix so it, instead of the semicolon you change that to a, a comma and you can call the ODD uh, you mean in when I'm doing here yeah I don't know if that would Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what I should do. Okay. So let's see. Plot the. Now that's a lot better. Okay. And uh, uh, let's plot the psi. Okay. Okay. That's that's good. So let's let's do an. Uh, animation of how this is going to work so let's do t uh, let's do i goes from one to a thousand let's uh, let's actually keep this going and uh, let's do this okay sorry so let's do phi psi zero equal to what we had in the beginning okay and uh, so let's do t and uh, phi psi is equal to that od45 and let's only time integrate it for a short time so 0 to uh, let's say 0.1 phi psi 0 as initial condition and uh, I like to hold off and uh, plot x and the phi psi. Okay, let's do phi psi zero. So we are going to overwrite the initial condition using the last solution of OD45, and we are going to plot x with phi psi zero, one to a hundred. Let's use blue and hold on, plot x phi psi 0 of 101 to 200. Let's do red and let's pause for a little bit. Pause. Uh, do I need to draw? Uh, maybe I don't. End. 
So let's see what do we get. So that's the solution of the wave equation uh, we see. Because, because it's periodic, uh, basically the wave goes out and comes back from the other side. So, so remember when we look at the eigenvalues of the, of the matrix, we get 1 and minus 1, right? What that means is that similar to a linear advection equation, which only has one velocity going towards the right, in this equation, we essentially have two velocities, one going towards the right with velocity 1, another going towards the left at velocity 1. It's a superposition of linear advection equations with 1 and minus 1 velocities. And uh, uh, of course now we are seeing the, the because we are doing this for so long and using central difference the the which error is taking its toll over here dispersion. dispersion error right so we are we are seeing some of the frequencies are probably not at the right place anymore after evolving for so long but because we are using central difference scheme there is not much actually not any dissipation error in this numerical solution the wave it keeps going all right. Any questions about this? Yes. What is the physical difference? Um, dissipation. It's is. So so I think there is a physical meaning of what is dissipation, right? I mean, when you say dissipation error, that means you have a numerical error, not physical that acts like a dissipation. So, right, dissipation means it is diffusing things. It is uh, like the dissipation of heat, for example. Dissipation of heat is if you, if you have a very hot object, the heat is going to dissipate, it means it is going to transfer the high temperature region into the lower temperature regions, entropy increases, you, the, the, the hot thing is going to cool down and the cold things is going to heat up uh, due to dissipation of heat. Dispersion is different. Dispersion maintains how much, how much energy or how much uh, almost kinetic energy you have, but like you, are, you, have very, you have different components of the energy going into different places. So that's, that's roughly my understanding of what dissipation and dispersion means. Yes? Yes. How do I go back to you? Good question. Uh, the best way to go back to you is to look at both of the solutions. For example, you have du dx, right? If you integrate over the spatial domain for du dx, you're going to get, you're going to recover the solution u up to a constant. And exactly what constant we are recovering, we need to look at the other component, du dt, to decide from the last time step what is the constant to the next time step what is the constant. Right? So we know, for example, we know the evolution of du d we know the value of du dt so we know the averaged spatially averaged du dt and that is going to give us how the constant term how the average of u is going to de evolve as a function of time so you need to combine again combine these two solutions to recover the u yeah any other questions